Dr. Paul, thank you very much for tuning to my channel. Today I want to talk a few minutes about uh, mycetoma. <clears throat> and uh, recent days I case, so I want to give you some important points briefly, not boring you with uh, so much stuff. But I want I, I want, I want to give you some important stuff. Mycetoma basically is a chronic, local, slowly progressive destructive infection. It usually involves the foot and it begins in subcutaneous tissues and frequently a trauma may start everything. So it slowly spreads to contiguous structures. You mycetoma, you also known as like madura mycosis. So you mycetoma is the usual term we use to describe mycetoma caused by the fungi and by phylogenetically diverse organisms. Actinomycotic mycetoma. It is caused by nocardia and actinomadura species. The disease begins as a papule and then it becomes a nodule and then it becomes like an abscess. So over the months to years, this papule becomes multiple abscesses. And after the abscess, slowly sinus tracts start to form. These sinus tracts, they go deep into the tissues. The problem is secondary bacterial infection starts. And this infection may go as deep as the bones. If you take an x-ray, you will see the destructive changes even in the bone. And tissue gram stain, it reveals fine branching hyphae with the actinomycotic mycetoma. Larger hyphae are seen with fungal mycetoma. So the causative species can be identified by the color of the characteristic grains within the infected tissues. Now what about the prognosis? The prognosis varies. The prognosis is good for patients with uh, actinomycetoma because these people, they respond well to sulfonamides and sulfons, especially if you treat them early. So remember treatment wise, trimethoprim sulfamethoxazole, it is given twice a day or dapsone 100 milligrams twice daily after meals. So Bactrim that is uh, 160 by 800 milligrams orally twice a day or dapsone 100 milligrams twice a day after meals. You can also use intramuscular injections like uh, streptomycin. And you do, you do this in the early months. All oral medications must be taken for months and you have to continue them several months after clinical cure to prevent relapse. Then debridement assists healing. So you also have to do debridement when there is so much dead tissue around. So the prognosis for uh, eumycetoma is poor, though surgical debridement along with uh, prolonged triconazole therapy or combination therapy including triconazole and terbinafine may result in a good response rate like up to 70%. So the various etiological agents, they may respond differently to antifungal agents. So always do a culture. A culture is uh, very, very important because you never know which uh, fungus is growing and uh, what antifungal medication it would respond to. Unfortunately, there are patients when the mycetoma becomes so deep and it goes into the bone and the secondary infection comes and uh, osteomyelitis develops and these unfortunate patients, they might, they might even require amputation to survive. So those are the uh, important points about mycetoma. I just want to give you a brief outline about uh, this disease. And uh, if you have more points, please share them in the comment section so other people also can learn. Thank you very much. Have a good day.